Okay, hey guys, um, today I'm doing a video about, um, the, uh, iPod Touch, Assistive Touch. Um, as you can see, it's right there up in the corner right there. Um, it works really well, and it, it's just a cool little thing to have, um, on your, uh, iPod Touch. So, um, to turn it on, you go in here in the settings, and, um, you come down here, and you go to this general tab right here and you scroll all the way down and um, you do have to be on iOS 5 to be able to do this and to uh, prove that I'm on iOS 5 um, I'm actually on iOS 5.0.1 right there 5.0.1 I don't know if you can see that uh, 5.0.1 though so yeah we come back here though and we scroll down and um, we're in the general thing, and we see accessibility right here. There's a lot of other things you can do in accessibility too, um, such as um, hearing to the left or right ear through a headphone. Um, if you're, um, I don't know, deaf in one ear, uh, white on black. Oopsies. Uh, large text, obviously. White on black. Back to black on white. Um, you know, it's cool. But um, you come down here, and it go, and you see this um, thing named physical and motor and you click click right here and you can see assistive touch and I have that turned on and it says always show in menu and if you have it turned on you have to always show in menu um okay so what it does really is there's a lot of things first thing I'm gonna show you is the home thing it works like your home button um your uh, home button right there but um you just you click it and it works like your home so um yeah you can say you need um say you needed uh two handed gestures um like if you're on the iPad or or something and you need gestures like um something that normally like five fingers um you know how you can come back to the home screen you can go like this and click it or something or um I don't know do something like that and it um it works as that gesture so it's it's pretty cool. Um, and to get out of something like that, you just have to click up into that, into, up into the assistive touch, and click back down, and it should go away. So we're going to open it again, and we're going to see the device. Um, I'm using an iPod Touch, um, but on the iPad, there is a, um, on the iPhone, the iPad and the iPhone, there is a mute and unmute here. Um, so, yeah. Um, but we have um, a cool, a few cool things here. We have the rotate screen button. And this only works on the uh, iPad, I think. But you have your left, your right, your upside down, and your portrait, um, which is pretty cool. You have your up volume, down volume. So I'm, gonna turn, I'm just going to turn my volume all the way down. You have your shake. Say you wanted to shuffle your songs. And you just click the shake button, and it would shuffle. Um, and then, obviously, you have your lock screen, um, which is pretty cool. Um, so it locks the screen. You come back. and Yeah. So, um, and then, there is also, um, favorites. I'm not sure what favorites, favorites does yet. I think it'll have, um, a few new things, um, in 5.0.2 or 5.1 or something like that. But, um, right now, all it is is, like, pinch right here. And, um, you, you do that and you slide your fingers out and stuff. And I'm guessing it, um, it, like, zooms in and stuff and does stuff. Um, you can create your own favorites um, in the general um, or in the uh, settings up here and you go to create um, or custom gestures and it says create a new gesture and I have a home gesture gesture but I'm just not sure how it works but it's a cool little thing to have say you have a broken um, home button or a broken uh, volume button you know it you can turn it up and down with this assistive touch so um that's the video f that's the video for now um i hope it helped you a little bit or made your ipod a little cooler the only thing i dislike about it is um you don't really have a place to put this you know it, it just kind of goes to it has a few preset places that it can go to you know it has to stay on the side though so i always keep mine in the top right corner because you can see through it a little bit um so yeah um, okay, I think, um, I will be uploading a Call of Duty, uh, Modern Warfare 3 video sometime this weekend, um, I'm ho if I could do it tonight, I would, 
but I have to get familiar with a uh, program um, to to uh, do a commentary. I don't know if any of you have a great program, but otherwise, I think I have a program that I can do on my computer. Just I don't know how good the quality will be. If any of you have a great program I can use, that'd be nice. Um, so, and then I'll be doing like a little series type deal where, um, first of all, I will just um, I'll do my top ten apps. Then I'll do the top free app um, for I don't know 15 days straight, and then I'll do that like every every uh, couple months or something every month maybe you know I don't know, but I'll just do the top free app for 15 days and I'll review it and I'll show you what it's like and then um in between all that I will do a uh, thing every once in a while where I'll I'll tell you about um a, a favorite app of mine that I've downloaded um you know like um. I don't know. There's, there's that Epic Citadel app, and it's it's really just going after the Retina display of the uh, iPod Touch, fourth generation iOS or iPhone 4 and iPad 2, and um, I'm not sure about the iPad one. I don't know if I had a Retina display, but um, yeah. So I mean that that's a cool kind of app. You just walk around, but you know it's it's kind of fun to to um, see the Retina display and stuff. But um, yeah. So um, yeah. When I get a uh, FIFA 12. I'm getting FIFA 12 for Christmas, and um, when I get that, I will definitely, definitely be uploading commentaries and stuff, but it's going to take me a little bit to get familiar with the uh, program, so I'm hoping to do that tonight, and um, I hope I can get it all figured out and um, can do a commentary for you guys. So, yeah, I hope you like the video, I hope some people see this, and um, I hope it's all good, so I'll see you.